teacher, today I will be doing experiment in science 4. Learning task number 3. Properties of solid materials. These are the solid materials. Um, stone, clay, eraser, spongy, ruler, and copper wires and plastic straw <laughs> ball and cloth ball pen walang laman <laughs> at spoon <laughs> I will show you how this solid material will change its characteristics Materials I will be using hammer, eh, eh, hammer, scissors, and my hand for bending and pressing. First is stone. Uh, When I hammer this, he has a new shape and it breaks into three. Next is this clay. Brown. Oh, okay. Just one piece. Okay. So this is. This is it. This is it. So now first I hammer it. This happened when I hammer it. Now, next, bend. Now, I put it in this shape. Yeah. Now, I can bend it also. Now, um, it, this is what happened when I press it. Like the hammer. Yeah. It's all, it's also became flat. And last, oh, you can do it all. You can also cut. And I, it breaks into smaller pieces when I cut it, just like this. You can also remove the shape and put the shape. Yeah, just can do it in circle. Yeah. It's a box. Ah, okay. You will do a box. Oh, there it is. The box. And you can do any shape of this clay dough. Any, any clay dough. We can do any shape. <laughs> In any clay. I got a box. I got a string. And last. Circle. Circle. That's not a perfect circle. <laughs> hammer it. Yes. 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 Eraser. This eraser. A little right. The properties of the eraser has definite shape, size and volume, texture, color and odor. Bend it. I cannot. I can. How oh, you can bend it? Oh, what happened when you bend it? It come back. Nothing. And I hammer it. It just change color. <laughs> When I cut it, it becomes three. Next is the... Dude, the hammer did nothing in this. Now let's bend it. I can bend it, but it's gone back. It's coming back to its shape, real shape. Press it, I can press it, but it comes back too. Wanna help? No. This is what happened. The sponge turned into two when I cut it with this and it changed its size, volume, and shape. Now, the next is the ruler. Cannot press it. It changed its texture only. Now, this is the Next one. Oh! 
Wow! Can see two two and change its shape and size and volume. When I bend it, this what happened. Plastic straw. Now this, I first I will push it. Yep. Okay. Doesn't do anything. Next is hammer it. Bend it, but it changes the texture. The texture is changing. And now the cutting piece. There we go. This is what happens when you cut it into two. Change its shape, size, ball. Next is this ball pen. Ball pen. First, I cut. Okay? I don't do anything, it just changes its texture. Just make me. I can't press it. I can't press it. Third of all. Yeah. And I hammer it. Okay, guys. Texture, volume, and shape this. And this. This spoon, it used to in the crayon. Now, first, I cut it. Yeah, yeet! Second of all, yeah! It changes size and shape. I press it. Yeah, yeet! It doesn't do anything! Third of all, the hammer! It changed its size and volume and shape. Now, let's finish that. Next is the core. First, I will press it. Nope, doesn't do anything. Second, I can bend it. I can bend it. Turns back into her normal shape. Now, let's do it on the hammer. Okay, doesn't do anything. The last one is this thing. This is what happens when I cut it. It changes size, volume, and shape. Oh, this is the ball. Oh, bouncy ball. First, I will press. Second of all, then Third, the hammer! Yeah! <laughs> okay, it didn't change. Hey, come back! Last <laughs> is this. It opens the inside from the outside. Now, this means the rubber ball can only be changed by cutting. I therefore conclude that solid materials can be changed in many ways by bending, hammering, cutting, and pressing, and even by sieving and crumpling. Such actions may change the material size, shape, texture, but no new material will form because there is no chemical change taking place. Hope you enjoy learning with me. Bye.